so we touched on this a little bit earlier, this concept of a function parameter. And I went through it very quickly, but I, I said something to the effect of, you know, there's this function parameter, and when you call the function, you pass in an argument, okay? So what do I mean by function parameter? I'm going to define a function, and I'm just going to go ahead and write the factorial function. And we're going to perform factorial on x. And uh, I'm introducing more complex functions earlier than, uh, than the materials that you'll need to support the function. But I'm really just talking about x. x is our parameter, OK? So x is going to represent a number on which we perform a factorial operation. So just a, as a quick review, factorial is, let's say the factorial of 5 is going to be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And uh, we want to make sure not to multiply by 0, right? Because anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So factorial of x, I'll just write this really quick. Um, we're going to have something called an accumulator uh, that I'm going to call prod for product. And we're going to start that at 1. And I'm going to say for uh, num in range of x, 1 to x plus 1. So this is going to give us every value from 1 up to and including x. I'm going to multiply by the number. So we're going to start at 1, and we're going to multiply. I could change this to 2 if I want. We're going to multiply by 2, by 3, by 4, by 5, uh, if we're passing in 5. And just to verify this, let's call factorial. And I'm going to pass in, I'll just pass in 3 to start. And I need to make sure to return something, right? I need to return the product. So 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. Multiply that by 4. It's 24. Multiply by 5. And it's 120. So this is working. The main point here is that we've got a parameter in our function definition. So line 3 is our function header. And within these two parens, we have something called a parameter. This is sort of a holder of space, right? A holder of a future value. Now, when we actually pass in a value, we call that value the argument. So here on line 11, when we pass in factorial, when we pass into factorial the number 5, 5 is going to go occupy this space of x. And that way we can use it within the function. So that's the difference between a function parameter up here. x is a parameter on line 3. And 5 is the argument that we pass into factorial here on line 11.